away for a few days since my last easy recipe, that cucumber salad. Um, it was easy video because, again, I'm just going to give you a recap of what's been going on in my life for the past few days. Um, I was in a pretty bad accident with me and my two daughters, and um, we got pretty injured, so I've been just kind of taking it easy. Um, I really haven't cooked much. Um, I've had a lot of leftovers, luckily, and my husband was also home to help me um, a few nights, too. So um, I haven't had to really cook, and I've been taking it easy, so I apologize for not getting a video up every night um, like I have been. I promise to get back at it as soon as I heal fully, um, but I wanted to not leave you hanging and at least get one up every couple days if I could. So I was making dinner for my family. We just got done with football, and um, I'm just doing something quick. It's a casserole. It's tuna noodle casserole. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard it or had it. Um, it's cream of mushroom soup and um, tuna, and then all you need is some egg noodles, and then um, I'm, I already have those boiling over here. I have started my water and have those boiling and cooking. I wanted this to just be a quick video for you guys. I have my casserole dish right here. I don't like doing dishes, but I have to. So to help my process, I'm sorry for all the loud noise, um, I use parchment paper and it works for anything. And I'm going to slap that bad boy in my casserole dish or you can use non-stick spray, whatever works for you. I use this easy cleanup, and I don't have to worry about it. So um, that's been cooking. Uh, you know, you cook your noodles about 20 minutes after you get it to a boil. Put those in. Let them cook for about 10, 15 minutes or until done and tender. Um, and then, like I said, I use um, two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And then two cans of tuna in here. And then I'm just going to add some salt and pepper once I get those noodles done. Um, I'm pretty sure that these are almost done. I am going to check it for you guys here. I'm going to give it a quick little stir. But I am pretty sure that these were coming close to an end of being done. Um, so I'm going to try that really quick. I'm just going to grab one. I can usually tell by the way that they feel. Uh, but I'm going to just, ooh, be safe. That's hot. Those need a few more minutes, so head on back over here. Um, I want to tell you, for those of you who are new, I have a giveaway going on right now to three lucky people. All you have to do is like this video, share this video, go ahead and subscribe to this video, Go ahead and sneeze if you need to sneeze <coughs> or cough. That was my daughter. She's the camera lady. And she was doing this to me. Uh, editing is hard for me, so I told her just to go ahead and cough. That's why. But anyway, back to the giveaway. Um, three lucky people. All you have to do is subscribe, like, and share my videos. That's it. I'll put you guys in a drawing once I get to 100 subscribers put you all in a drawing and the three that I pick out will get that lucky spatula, a special recipe for me, and you'll get to come along on my journey. And that in itself is exciting. So go ahead, subscribe, like this video, and share it. All right, y'all. That was, that's all I wanted to tell you about that. Um, so if you are new, sorry, those are my dogs. So I can do that so you guys can be entered in that drawing. As soon as I hit that 100, I'm almost there, guys. Halfway. Once I hit that drawing, um, you guys will get drawing, and I'll pick you. So I'm going to come back over here. Stop it, Miss Bella. Sorry about that. She um, it has a big mouth. You can show him, Bella, if you would like. That's Miss Bella. She's got a loud mouth. And then my other dog is Milo, and he's my little rescue dog. And actually, when I first got him, he's over here. When I first got that little guy, he was skinny as skinny could be. And he wasn't that friendly. And now he comes up to us and he allows us to pet him. And he just fit right into our family. So now he barks too. So that's him in the, in the background. He didn't bark. He didn't make a sound. So he's coming out of his comfort zone for sure. And uh, making himself at home. 
so um, this has been stirring while I've been yip yapping to you for a couple minutes. I'm just going to take that out. I can handle hot things. I don't suggest you do that. Get a fork and scoop it out or whatever you can use. Don't use your fingers because that is hot. So my hands are I'm unique and I can just touch hot stuff without it bothering me. I don't know why. I just can't. And those are done. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to take this right here and just drain it. I'm going to shut this off because I don't need that on no more. Come over here and I'm going to drain it. And then I'm um, going to take this and just bring it right over to my casserole dish. And then I'm going to pour it right in there. And then I'm going to take my mixture of tuna fish and um, the cream of mushroom soup. And I'm going to pour that all in there. And then you can put, um, some people put crispy onions on top. I do not. I wait until I put it in the oven and get all this mixture mixed up. And then um, I put Lay's potato chips. I just take them and crumble them right on top. And then I eat it just like that. And it's so good. The saltiness from the chips and the crunch from the chips just goes perfect on top with this noodle casserole. So I'm just mixing all of this up really good. And then I'm going to add some salt and pepper right to the top and then give it another little mixture. Pop this in the oven and let it get hot. And then I'm going to serve it right up. And that is it. I mean, less than 30 minutes. Um, a total time, my prep time was a good, um, possibly like 10 minutes to prep all of this, 20 minutes to boil and cook my noodles. So, I mean, this is a 30-minute meal in itself, but the prep time is like less than 10 minutes. Um, really, the, the longest time that it's going to take is for the noodles to cook. Um, and then after that, everything else is pretty fast. I will put this in the oven for like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes just to get it nice and bubbly and hot. Um, I'm not going to add too much salt because like I said I use the Lay's potato chips. And that has a lot of salt on them. So that's going to salt it up for me. But I am going to add just a little bit to the top. And um, that will be about it. All right, and that's it for my tuna noodle casserole. I am gonna pop this in the oven and then I'm gonna let this cook and get bubbly about 10 minutes and I will be right back um, once this comes out and show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, y'all, I'll be back. So it has been cooking for about 10 minutes, maybe 15. I wasn't really keeping an eye on it. Uh, um, oh, my dog just did something. That's why I looked over at them. Um, I wasn't really keeping an eye on the time. I just kept opening it to check it. Um, it is to my liking. So I'm going to have you follow me over here. And I'm going to pull this sucker out. And this is what I am looking for. Mm. Bring this on over here. And then I'm going to just get a spoon. Um... But yeah, simple, simple, simple. Oh, and then for my topping, I took my chips. I like, I can't give you the name brand, but I like crunchy chips. And I'm just gonna crunch it like this. And voila, that's it. So I'm gonna take a little bit on here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna just sprinkle some of this right on the top and that's it y'all my tuna casserole right here this is all it requires easy 
better than fast food for sure and healthier than fast food. I don't know, I mean, if it's um, really healthy for you, but um, it's definitely better than fast food. It's cheaper than fast food for sure because with my family, just for me and my girls tonight, um, going to like McDonald's or Taco Bell, guaranteed, that would have been a $15 meal. I probably spent a total of three dollars on this meal and a lot of the stuff I already had here from grocery shopping um so it really in all reality it really was just an expensive meal less than five dollars less than 30 minutes to cook it and that's it so if you like 30 minute meals fast meals like this go ahead subscribe like share don't forget about that giveaway that I'm doing and uh, that's about it. I'll be back again for another video tomorrow with those pizza bites. All right, y'all.